we will see equilibrium in the long run. Equilibrium of the long run is almost similar to the equilibrium in the short run. We have the long run marginal cost curve which is running in this fashion it is U shape. We also have the long run average cost curve which again is U shape. You can see that the marginal cost curve that is the long run marginal cost curve is cutting the long run average cost curve where LAC is minimum. Here the LAC is minimum and thus long run marginal cost curve is cutting it where it is minimum. Now the first case the first order condition is find a point where MC is equal to MR but this is long run so this will be LMC. This is my MR. So this is the point where MC cuts MR. We will name that point as E. The second condition is compare revenue and cost where MC is equal to MR. Now at point P or rather point E, the point of equilibrium, compare the revenues and cost. So from that point move up till the average revenue curve. You will get the revenue, it is till the point P. Draw a perpendicular from that point to the y axis. Now find out the cost. So from equilibrium move upwards till the long run average cost curve where it meets the long run average cost curve. It meets the long run average cost curve at the same point that is point T. So you see that both revenues and cost at this point are same. Therefore there is no difference between the revenue and the cost and thus you will have normal profits. So for normal profit LAC should be equal to LAR or LAC should be equal to AR or long run average cost should be equal to average revenue. It's all the same. So we've done three cases where AR is more than AC. We have a situation of supernormal profits. Second, where AC is more than AR. When cost is more than a revenue, you have a situation of losses there. And finally, we've seen where AC is equal to AR or LAC is equal to AR. There you have normal profit. Now, please note these important conditions. First, MC should be equal to MR in the long run. Thus, a firm will always have normal profits only. It can't have supernormal profits. Supernormal profits will always be zero because at all the points where there is equilibrium and AC equals to AR, there you have only normal profits. Super normal profits can't exist when average cost is equal to average revenue. The second is 
MC curve must cut the MR from below. We've already done this condition. MC curve should cut MR from below. Next, AR curve should be tangent to LAC. You can see that this is the AR curve and you can note that this curve the curve in the green is tangent to AR the LAC curve is tangent to AR at the point P and finally the plant has excess capacity. You can see that the cost is minimum at point L. Your LAC is minimum at point L. That means if you produce OR number of units, your cost will be minimum. Yet you are producing OQ number of units because that is the equilibrium point and that is the equilibrium number of units. So you can conclude that you have further more capacity in your plant. Your plant can produce more number of units which will give it economies of scale but you are not producing QR number of units. This much you are not producing. That means there is some idle capacity in the plant. So the plant has excess capacity than what you are using. Thus, this is what we have for equilibrium in long run for monopolistic competition.